Hello friends, so Revit 2026 is released now and there has been significant improvement in Revit 2026 and some new features has been added in this uh, version. So this video will cover all the new important features. So don't miss this. So I'm going to discuss the first improvement. So this is the improvement in the subdivision here so you can see this contour site here and if i am going to draw a subdivision here so i am going to draw a subdivision path here so suppose i am going to draw any subdivision here and now i am going to uh, select this generic 20 feet and now you can see here this is our uh, subdivision so this is a uh, uh, like earlier version so now in this version you can give sub divide offset so you can give positive and negative offset so suppose i'm going to give a two feet positive value so you can see this height is increased which was not available in earlier version and you can also give a negative uh, a subdivision offset here so suppose i'm going to give this as a two feet uh, minus offset and you can see this is the uh, great improvement in this version so if you look at uh, revit 2024 here and uh, this version uh, if I, if you'll go here and draw any subdivision here and i am going to draw a subdivision here and i can see so this is the subdivision here and now if i am going to uh, give any offset here i can't so if i am going to give any negative value this will show error here please enter a positive value less than 30000 3000 or 30000 feet so yeah, this is uh, uh, improved in this version of revit 2026 so it has become very easy to give you offset to your pathways or can give a multiple subdivision here so if i'm going to select here i can draw any other subdivision here so suppose i'm going to draw any subdivision here and i'm going to finish this and you can see this is following the path and you can uh, give any negative value or positive value so suppose i'm going to give any positive value here so you can see this is going uh, in positive uh, offset so this is the improvement and you can also uh, copy uh, points now in this uh, revit 2026 so you can go to modify succulent and you can copy all these points so suppose if i'm going to copy this four point here and i'm going to uh, press ctrl c and now i'm going to press ctrl v and you can place anywhere suppose i want to place here so you can see this point has been copied here so you can do this to any other topo surface also so suppose i'm going to draw any other topo surface here and i'm going to create a topo solid here and you can see this is uh, looking flat here so if i'm going to select this topo solid here and I'm going to modify sub element and now i'm going to copy all these points here and i'm going to press ctrl c and now i'm going to select this click on modify sub element and now i'm going to press ctrl v and i'm going to paste it here so now you can see this all points has been copied to a new topo solid here so this is the uh, all important features which has been added in topo solid category another important features in topo solid apart from subdivision is the void cut stability which is added in revit 2026 so if i'm going to this uh, uh, massing insight and you can see this option here model site you will click this arrow here you can see uh, topographic cut void stability so you can see here this void cut stability increase the chances of success for void cuts made to topo solid element so this is uh, added in revit 20, 
26 so sometimes you can find difficult in previous version of Revit to cut void so this is uh, you can enable this to increase your chances for cutting void so this is the message you can get here topography cut void stability increases the chances of cut success by applying a small remnant shape to the void geometry and click these options you can also hide and unhide your uh, subdivision in uh, revit by using visibility graphics so i am going to search for um, this subdivision here if you will go to topo solid here and in this topo solid if you'll uh, expand this you can see here your subdivision so if i'm going to uncheck this here subdivision and i will click apply okay so you can see this uh, subdivision is hidden here another improvement in revit 2026 is that in walls you can create compound walls very easily and you can uh, move your layers uh, outside your core boundary like above the core boundary which was not available in previous versions so we will understand this by an example so you can see here these all are architectural columns and walls so if i am going to select any wall here and if you want to create any compound walls so you can select wall architectural and i have selected this uh, basic uh, generic 5 inch wall here and i am going to edit tab here you can uh, create a duplicate of this and you can go to a structure here and edit and now you can uh, move your uh, layer uh, above core boundary which was not available in earlier version of revit and you can also uh, prioritize your uh, number here uh, your layers so you can see this category is added in revit 2026 priority so you can prioritize your uh, layer here like you can add more layers and you can give your uh, priority number here like one two three four so i will keep one here and you can change your material like uh, other versions so if i want to move this up uh, above this core boundary this, so this facility is uh, provided in revit 2026 so if you look at uh, previous version like i am going to uh, use this revit 2024 this is the wall and if i am going to create any wall here and i'm going to edit type duplicate and i'm going to structure edit and if i'm going to move this layer above this core boundary this is not getting selected so this is a, a good enhancement in revit 2026 so i am going to move this outside core boundary and i will click apply apply okay and now you can see here uh, this two category is added in revit 2026 so you can uh, place by room and place by segment and these two are present here auto join and auto join and lock so suppose if i want to place uh, this uh, basic wall uh, the layer and i am going to place by segment first so if you'll click this and you can place by each segment so you can see this uh, orange line here you can uh, click once here and you can see this is getting uh, placed here so i will show you with another layer here and if i am going to place this uh, wall layer here you can see uh, the difference uh, the, the another layer of wall which is placed by segment so if you want to place all together you can use this option here place by room and you can see this all room is getting selected and you can see this is going outside uh, your uh, architectural column so if you don't want to include your architectural columns you can press tab on your keyboard and you can see this column is separated so i'm going to keep this architectural column uh, and i will press again uh, tab here and i will place this wall layer in this so you can see this is placed here so this is the improvement in this uh, revit walls another improvement in revit 2026 is that now you can save position of your views in sheets so if i am going to select this view here and if you 
select this view and you can see this option here save position so you can save your position and you can rename this as any uh, position name and now this position will be locked here and you can edit this also so whenever uh, you will place any views similar views any other sheets so this position you can choose from this uh, list here so this is the improvement in uh, revit sheets so now another important features in revit 2026 is that you can manage links of of your cat files and you can delete them easily so if you go to insert here you can see this manage link is now available to extreme left here and if you click this manage links you can see the list of all the cat files which is used in your revit project so this cat files makes a uh, revit projects heavy so if you want to delete uh, the cat format you can select and you can select on this remove button here and you can also add uh, the cat formats or any topography or pdf files from this list and image and revit files also so this is the improvement Another uh, important feature in Revit 2026 is accelerated graphics tech preview option which is uh, available above view cube. We can uh, see this is turned off. So I'm going to turn this on. So this will improve uh, your uh, visual appearance of your graphics in Revit and it will be e easier and smoother to work. So you can see this. Uh, uh, message here the accelerated graphic tech preview offers faster navigation in 2d and 3d views with various visual style so you can adjust how you can interact with this tech preview or turn it off so the uh, it will be easier and it's uh, faster to work in uh, revit using this accelerated uh, graphic tech preview both in 2d and 3d and it will improve your visual style so i'm going to click okay to turn this on and you can see uh, now you can easily navigate here in using this accelerated uh, graphics tech preview and you can work uh, smoothly using this option and whenever you feel uh, that you don't require you can turn this off there is more improvements in revit 2026 in the category of seat list so if you'll go to view here and if you go to schedules and i'm going to select sheet list you can see this uh, sheet width and height and scale is added so this is the new improvement in revit 2026 so these are the some improvements in revit 2026 so hope you have liked this video please like share and subscribe my channel in the next video tutorial we will discuss some more interesting topics in revit so thanks for watching bye bye